All right, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Matt Valerius, and I am the Director of Guided Pathways and Dual Enrollment at Golden West College. Uh, thank you for being here tonight. We have about 25 folks on um, our information session. Um, with me is Jessica Bravo, who's the Program Coordinator for Dual Enrollment at Golden West College. So we're um, going to walk you through kind of the options for HBUHSD students to take college credit courses this summer to get dual high school and college credit. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we are recording this session in case um, you have um, you want to refer back to it or if you have uh, friends who aren't able to join and um, we'll be posting that on our website. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat and we'll answer those as we go along. So first of all, we just want to explain a little bit about what dual and concurrent enrollment is. You might have heard these terms before. Um, but basically, they're both ways for high school students to get an early start on college. So HBUHSD students can take GWC classes this summer and earn high school and college credit at the same time. All of our summer classes will still be fully online due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, some of them will have uh, what we call live online instruction via Zoom. So in those cases, students would need to log on to Canvas at certain times, um, for example, like a Tuesday and Thursday for maybe 10 a.m. to 11.30 for live um, instruction uh, with the, the instructor. But all of the, the, cl the class will still be fully online. Students will complete their assignments in Canvas, um, but some of them, like I said, will have live lectures. Um, all of these classes, if, a student, if an HBUHSD student takes a class that is on the approved list, which we'll cover shortly, um, those classes will be 100% free. So HBUHSD is going to cover the cost of any campus fees and, to, and um, textbooks, and GWC waives the tuition. So HBUHSD students who take one of those approved college credit courses can get high school and college credit 100% um, free this summer. And all of the classes that we've chosen transfer to UCs and CSUs. So it's a great way to get an early start on college um, and accumulate credits that will then follow you after high school, even if you don't come to Golden West College. And so in those cases, you can just take your Golden West transcript that lists all of the college classes you passed during high school, and you can take it to that four-year college or university, and they'll accept those credits. So this um, slide here shows all of these classes that are approved for dual high school and college credit. So all of the classes this summer that HBHSC students will be taking are actually concurrent enrollment classes. <clears throat> and that's because all of them will be online. So you won't really notice much of a difference between a dual enrollment class and a concurrent class. Um, the, the biggest difference is that there will be other college age students in these courses. So they're not going to be closed or reserved just for HBUHSD students. Um, instead, you'll be enrolling in an online course that will have most of the class will be regular college age students, but then there will be um, some uh, high school students in many of these classes, some HBHSD students. And so um, you'll be registering in those classes um, like you would with any other college course. We'll, we'll explain kind of what that process looks like. But if an HBHSD student wants to take any of the classes listed here, um, they'll be getting high school and college credit. And like I mentioned, they, these classes will be 100% um, free for HBHSD students. So we list here how many college units each, each class is. You'll notice they all transfer to both UCs and CSUs. And they meet general education requirements for both systems as well. Um, any high school student can actually take these classes, meaning that if you will be a high school student in the fall semester, you can take these classes um, for free and get high school and college credit. <clears throat> If you are an incoming freshman, meaning you're in eighth grade right now and you're gonna be finishing eighth grade and enrolling at the high school in HB, HBUHSD high school in the fall, you can also participate. As long as you will be enrolled in HBUHSD high school in the fall semester, you can take a summer class and get a really early start on college. If you're a current high school senior though, um, unfortunately you, you'll, I mean, it, it's great because you'll be graduating high school um, in June, but you won't be able to continue on as a concurrently enrolled high school student because you'll be done with high school. So if you're a current senior and you're finishing up high school this year, then you'll actually need to reapply to the college as a regular college student, a first time college student. 
and then you can enroll in classes as a regular college student. You don't need the extra permission forms. Um, you'll notice that there are quite a lot of classes listed here. So students can take class for um, you know, college preparation coursework, English, health education, math, sciences, social sciences, visual performing arts, and world languages. Um, if a high school student wants to take a class that's not listed here, they can certainly do so. Um, they just would not be getting high school credit at all. Um, so if the class is not listed here and you want to take it, you're doing it for college credit only. Um, and also if there is a textbook um, and any campus fees, they would be the responsibility of the student to pay for those. So you can see the full course list if you go to our website and we provide the link here. So if you click there, it'll have this same list of courses there along with some more information about how you sign up. We also wanna make sure that students um, understand that you know, getting an early start on college is a great opportunity. Um, as we mentioned before, you can save a lot of time and money towards your college degree. You're getting both high school and college credit for a course, but it's really important to take these classes seriously because they will end up on your permanent college transcript. Um, so some of the tips that we um, provide for students, we have um, another, um, we have a whole academic success center at Golden West College where students can access tutoring and mentoring um, support. Um, but it's really important too to make sure that you're building in, especially with an online course, that you build in time during your weekly routine to, to do the assignments, study for the classes. Um, hopefully you don't have as many other conflicts in the summer so you can really focus on these classes over the summer. Um, it's really important too that make sure that you communicate with your instructor. So if you're going to miss any live lectures um, or if you're really struggling in a class, you need some help. You know, our professors who teach these classes, um, you know, they're there for their students and they really want to make sure that you're successful as well. But you just have to reach out and let them know if you're having trouble. Uh, we also really recommend when the class starts that you uh, review the syllabus. So the, the instructor, usually the first class period, they'll post the syllabus in Canvas and then it'll list all of the assignments for the semester and what those due dates are. So we really rec recommend that you review the syllabus, um, take note of when certain assignments or exams are gonna be held and make sure that you build in enough time to study or to complete that assignment ahead of time. And then if you have friends who are taking um, college classes, you know, it's great to also, if you can get together with them safely in person or have uh, virtual study groups via Zoom um, or Google Hangouts, um, you know, use your friends to help study um, and keep each other on track to complete the course successfully. But really the, the number one, uh, the two biggest tips that we have for, for high school students taking college courses is one, uh, make sure that you just show up and are engaged. You know, if your class has live lectures, make sure that you attend them. The number one, um, the, the biggest reason why high school students will sometimes get in trouble and have to either withdraw or get a bad grade in one of our early college courses is that they just stop attending. Um, and so it's really important that you stay engaged in the course and you keep um, attending and turn in your assignments. You know, those are the, the two biggest tips that we have for you is just take it seriously and keep attending the class. And then like we said, if you are falling behind or have any trouble, um, you can contact our office. We'll be sharing our contact information at the end um, of the presentation because we can help connect you to different academic support services at Golden West College. But we also recommend that you contact your professor directly because they'll be the one who can, who can provide the most support and help for you. So once you know which college class you're interested in taking, it's we've tried to make the sign-up process as simple as possible. Um, so the first thing is every student needs to first complete the Golden West College application. And that is just so we can get you an ID number and get you in our system. If you've already taken a course through either dual or concurrent enrollment at Golden West, um, either uh, in the fall or spring semester of this year, and you have an ID number already, you do not need to do the application again. Your ID number will still be valid and you'll just be able to jump right to the release form. So the release form is um, something that's required of any high school student who wants to take a college course um, because we need permission from that student's parent and high school. It says that you're ready for a college course um, and that you understand that you're signing up for a course that will go on your permanent college transcript. So that release form is required. Um, we provided the link here and we're also gonna walk through and show you kind of how to do that release form online. 
Um, but this summer, as I mentioned, all HBUHSD students are going to be doing the concurrent enrollment release form, not the dual enrollment form. So when you first go to uh, create your, um, your open CCC account, this is to do the, the college application. Um, there's really two parts of it. First, you have to create this open CCC account with the entire California Community College system. <clears throat> it's pretty quick. It's only about three pages, but it's gonna ask you for your name, contact information. It's gonna ask you to create a username and password, um, stuff like that. On this first screen, it will ask you for your social security number but you do not need to provide that. Um, there will be a box that, will, that you can check. It says that you do not have a social security number or you don't wanna provide one right now. And then you'll be able to, um, to move to the next screen. So if you don't have a social security number or you don't know it, or you don't wanna provide it, it is not required. Um, on the second page, it will also ask you to create a username and provide um, your email address and it's really important that even if you're a parent helping the student um, with creating this account, make sure you list the student's email address. It can be their personal one or their, their HBU HSD email address. It just should be one that they check regularly because that's the email address we'll use to send important information about logging into MyGWC, confirmations um, with their courses and things like that. So it's important that the student is able to get that information. So there was a question in the chat about um, whether failing a dual enrollment class counts on the high school transcript. And yes, it does. If a student is taking one of these classes, I'll go back, um, you know, that are for dual high school and college credit, uh, my understanding, I, I think you should confirm with your high school exactly how it shows up on the transcript. Um, but my understanding is that it will appear on your transcript and say you're taking the visual performing arts intro to art class. If you fail the Golden West College class, it will show up on your Golden West transcript as, a, as an F, which will impact your college GPA. But also at a minimum, you won't get credit for it on the high school side. And I believe that the F will also show up on your high school transcript, <clears throat> but Golden West doesn't really get involved with um, you know, those, those transcript decisions at the high school level. So I would recommend that you um, confirm with your high school guidance counselor how that grade will show up. So going back to the application, once you create your open CCC account, um, <clears throat> you'll get a, see a screen like this where it says your account's been created. This is your CCC ID and it gives you a, a kind of seven digit number. Um, you'll still will need to click continue to go to the actual GWC application. So when you go to the actual GWC application, you'll see a button that says start new application. And the, the most important thing is that you select the correct term. So right now we would be applying for the summer fall 2021 term. And then under the education section, when it asks for your status, um, you'll need to click that you're enrolling in high school and college at the same time. We can fix it on the back end if you select the wrong option, but to make sure that you automatically get your fees waived, um, it's better if you, just, you know, fill out the application correctly and select enrolling in high school and college at the same time. So as you work through the GWC application, there's about 10 tabs. Um, when you complete a tab, it's gonna show up as a green check mark and the one that you're working on will show up as yellow. So you wanna make sure you go through and complete each tab so that it shows up as green before you submit the application. The one that I was mentioning is on this third tab, education. Um, it'll ask you what your enrollment status will be. And that's where you need to select the very last one where it says enrolling in high school or a lower grade and college at the same time. So some students are asking if they did the application last summer do they need to complete it again? Um, if you did not enroll in a college class in either the fall or the spring, then yes, you will need to resubmit the application because it's been over a year. Um, if you enrolled in a college class in the fall or spring semester, then you do not need to resubmit the application. But if you run into any errors when you, after you submit your release form, um, and are trying to register in classes, you can always email our office and we can quickly find out what the error is and then we'll help, uh, help troubleshoot it for you. 
So once you go through each one of these tabs on the, on the application and it shows up as a green check mark, then you're gonna click submit at the end. After you submit, you're gonna get a confirmation page that looks like this. So you'll wanna take note of your confirmation number and this ID number, um, just in case you don't get a, a welcome to Golden West College email and you don't, um, the follow-up email from Golden West College will let you know what your GWC ID number is. And it always starts with C0 and then several other digits. Um, so that GWC ID number is gonna be important. So if you submit the application, you see this confirmation page, but you don't get your the welcome to Golden West College email within, the, within a day or two, um, just email us and we're going to provide that email address at the end of this presentation and then we can look up your application. So once you know what class you want to take and you've submitted the Golden West College application, <clears throat> then it's going to be time to submit the actual release form. So this release form is what you use to request permission to enroll in a specific college course. Um, by law at Golden West College or all community colleges in the state of California, we're required to collect these release forms anytime a high school student wants to take a college course. And it has to be signed by your parent or guardian if you're under 18 uh, and your high school principal. So since the beginning of COVID, we've moved to using fully um, online forms that will allow us to quickly collect these approvals electronically. So students do not need to print and sign forms and then like bring them to their high school or anything like that. It will all be completed electronically. Um, it's using software called Dynamic Forms. It's really similar to something like DocuSign if you've ever signed documents electronically. So we provided the link on our website here. I'm gonna walk through kind of what the online release form looks like. So when you go to our website, you're gonna see a, um, especially uh, if you go to this link, which is goldenwestcollege.edu slash dual enrollment slash apply, there will be step-by-step -step instructions for how to complete um, the signup process. Um, so if you clicked on complete your release form, which is step three, then you're gonna scroll down a little bit and you'll see the section for concurrent enrollment students. <clears throat> we have a, if you see the blue button here where it says need help, click here for this release form guide. You can click that button and you'll get a lot of these same screens as a guide, as a PDF guide. So you, you can, if you, um, want some help and completing the release form, you can uh, click on that blue button to access the guide. If you click the green button, it will take you to the release form checklist. And so this checklist is gonna ask you a few questions just to make sure that you're ready to submit the actual release form. So it'll ask you if you've already applied to become a Golden West College student. If you've submitted that application that we just talked about, you can click yes. If you know your ID number, you'll click yes. Um, and then it's gonna ask you if you've ever submitted this release form online before. So you'd either click yes or no. Um, and then you're gonna see a green button at the bottom that will take you to the actual uh, dynamic forms page. So the first time you use this, uh, this online form, you're gonna to need to click create new account because you're gonna be creating a dynamic forms account. You know, this is different than your actual Golden West College account. Um, you'll create a dynamic forms account to be able to access the release form. And, and you get to create your own username and password. It's very um, user friendly. So when you click create new account, you know, you'll enter your username, first name, last name, email address. You know, it's very simple. Like if you're creating a new Netflix account or something like that. If you, you know, did the online release form a little while ago, um, maybe in the fall and you forgot your username or your password, uh, you can use these options too. There's a forgot username button and a forgot password button. And then it'll send you a link to your, your personal email address um, to reset your username or your password. It's really important if you're a parent helping out a student um, that you initially create the account for the student using the student's name and the student's email address. Um, if you use your personal email address as the parent, and then you use, try to use the same email address later on when you create your parent account, the system uh, won't let you sign the release forms because you need a unique email address for each account. So if you're a parent helping a student, just remember to first set up the account for the student using the student's name and email address. And then um, once you get an email um, from Dynamic Forms saying that the form is ready to sign, 
you'll need to create the account with your you with your own name and email address as the parent. So after the student creates their Dynamic Forms account, they'll be able to log in and start filling out the actual release form. So it looks kind of like this. You know, the student will fill out their name, um, date of birth, GWC ID number, home address, select their school. And then there'll be space for you to list whichever course you want permission to register in. After you fill out the entire form, as a student, you're gonna um, sign it electronically and submit it. The form will also ask you to enter um, your parent's name and email address if you are under 18. Once the student submits the form, um, it's gonna be emailed to their parent or guardian to review and sign. So the parent can't sign the form while the student is, is still working it. The student first has to submit the release form. And then shortly after that, the parent should receive an email saying that their student is requesting permission to take a Golden West College course while they're still in high school. Um, and then there's gonna be a link that says, click here to complete your section of the form. So if you're the parent, then you would click on that link and it'll, it'll ask you to then log into Dynamic Forms. Um, but if, you, if this is your first time using it, then you'll need to click create new account. And as the parent, you'll create your own account with your name and your email address. Once the parent is then able to log in, they'll uh, be able to then sign the parent and guardian approval section. So then you would just sign electronically and submit it. Because by signing it, then you're giving your son or daughter permission to take a Golden West College course while they're in high school. Um, the nice part about using this electronic software is that uh, parents do not need to bring a form to the high school or email the high school asking them for for permission. Once the parent submits the form after they signed it, it will automatically send it to the high school staff to review and sign. So the high school staff will then click whether they approve the courses that the student listed on the form, and then they'll be asked to fill out some information and sign the form. So once the high school signs off, then it'll come to Golden West College because now the student filled it out, the parents signed it, and the high school signed it. Um, this software also allows students and parents to kind of track the form through the whole process. So this link is very helpful here. If you ever um, don't receive, if you're a parent and you haven't received a notification email, for example, you're able to go to this link, dynamicforms.ngwebsolutions.com, and you can log in. And if you clicked pending draft forms, you would be able to see any forms that are waiting for your signature. And then you can open them up um, and sign it electronically and submit it. So you can also then see here, if you went to forms history, kind of all of the forms that have been completed that you've, that you've been listed as a signer on. So this link is, uh, is a very important one. It's, it's very helpful if you're, you know, need to access a form that you already submitted or um, you didn't receive the notification email and you, you, know, you need to sign a form for your son or daughter. You'll be able to log in here and then find that form in pending draft forms. So once the release form comes to Golden West College, we're gonna review it and make sure that the signatures are all correct and that the student has permission from the parent in the high school to be able to register in that college course. Um, we'll then process the form. When Golden West College processes it, we're just giving the student permission to register. We're not actually registering them in the class. So once we process it, the student will get a confirmation email that says Golden West College has processed your release form and you now have permission to register in whichever course has been approved. Um, that email will also contain some instructions for students for how to complete the registration process and get ready for their college class to make sure that they you know, know where the GWC Canvas portal is, um, that they verify that they're registered in the class that they've paid any fees if required, which are not for HBUHSD students. Um, and that they've checked to make sure that, uh, and see whether the class has a textbook or not. So we've created a flyer for students. You can access it using this link here. Um, we also include this link in the confirmation email that we send to the students. But this flyer will uh, show students how they can actually complete um, the registration process. 
So that is um, all the information that we have today. Um, we wanted to save the rest of the time to actually answer any other questions you have, um, or if you wanted to get started on the GWC application or the release form, um, you can do so and our staff will stay on the Zoom and answer any questions you might have. So I'm gonna put up our contact information. Um, so please do take note of our email address. Um, and our phone number and feel free to email us or give us a call if you do have any um, questions or concerns um, or if you need any help with completing this process. But we're gonna, like I mentioned, we will be staying on, um, Jessica and I, in case you have any questions or if you wanna get started with the application of the release form. I'm gonna uh, minimize my screen one second. So this is what our Golden West College dual enrollment page looks like for students and parents. Um, so if you're not able to complete the process right now, you have to run and make dinner or something. Um, if you click on the sign up now button, um, so sorry, you go to goldenwestcollege.edu slash dual enrollment and um, you click sign up now. So the sign up now button will take you to the step-by-step -step instructions for how to apply and register. <clears throat> My screen is just being a little bit slow. So here it's gonna walk you through the entire process. So you can uh, expand each one of these steps. So for example, step one is submit the online application to the college. If you expand it, there's a button on how to actually, if you click this red button, it'll take you to the actual application page, the open CCC account uh, creation page. My account is just being a little slow. So this is where you would either create a new account if you don't have an open CCC account or sign in if you already created one. Um, but under each step, there's also a guide to assist you. So step two is gonna be pick your classes that you wanna take um, and you'll be able to look at um, dual enrollment courses or the GWC class schedule for all courses. For step three is the release form. Remember for this summer, we're gonna be doing the concurrent enrollment release form. And there's a guide though to assist you with that as well. And under step four, there's also explanation for how to, how to complete the registration process and this link for next steps for high school students, which I'll pull up shortly. So if you're on our main webpage, um, you can also see credit course offerings. So this is the list of approved courses for HBUHSD students. Sorry, it's just taking a second to load. So this list, if you go to uh, course offerings, credit course offerings, this list will show you what I had uh, earlier in this presentation, which was the classes that are approved for dual high school and college credit. So anytime a high school student takes a Golden West College course, they're guaranteed to get the college credit as long as they pass the class. But HBUHSD is going to give students um, high school credit as well. So you're gonna be able to kill two birds with one stone if you take one of these classes that's listed here. Also, if you're in HBUHSD and you take one of these classes, um, you will be able to uh, take it for, for no cost. The class will be 100% free because Golden West will waive the tuition and then HBUHSD will cover the cost of any campus fees or textbooks. So you can find this updated list as well on our dual and concurrent enrollment web, uh, webpage. So I'm gonna go back to the presentation and if, um, if you do want to get help um, with doing either the application or the release form, um, Jessica and I will, will stay on um, and help those students who, who wanna start that process uh, right now. But otherwise, um, we thank you for your time and um, you can also find our contact information on our main website.
So I'll leave our contact information up, but thank you for our time. I'm going to stop recording now and Jessica and I are going to stay on and help anybody who still wants to, um, who wants to get a uh, start on either the college application or the release forms, or if you have any other questions, feel free to put them in the chat, but thank you very much for your time.